joined now on uh, Your Sports Swindon with uh, Troy Batchelor. Troy, welcome back to Swindon. I think it's your third time you're going to ride for the club. Yeah, third time. Probably done about five or six six years here. Um, it's it's always good to come back. Um, we're looking at the track now. It looks fantastic. Yep. Um, can't wait to have a go, really. Um, I don't even remember. I, I feel like I can't even ride Speedway anymore because it's been that long since I've had a go. It's, it's been a long winter. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm really excited about it. You got got you know the new bikes for the year and stuff. They're looking really good, and the team looks great. We all look pretty good in our new suits and that. So uh, let's go get them dirty. And although you were involved with Kings Lynn last year, uh, you did do several guest uh, spots for the Robins, and uh, you did brilliantly in, in that time. Yeah, I done a few. I done a few here um, for Swindon and against Swindon. Uh, we done a couple on the road, and uh, that was fun. You know, I think I did Leicester and Bellevue and. You know, Swindon were on fire. They, I, I done a few guest bookings and we, we won all of them, and it, it felt good because my team weren't doing too much. So uh, yeah. it's good to be in a winning team, and the atmosphere was good. You know, uh, six out of the seven boys, I think, is it, uh, back here again. So you know, I met most of them last year, worked with them, and enjoyed it. Yeah. And uh, as I mentioned, you did start off riding for Kingsley last year. Things didn't quite work out right there one or two things happen in the end so uh, I guess when the fixtures come out was was the Kings Lynn fixture the first thing you look for for Swindon? I think that's May the 2nd isn't it that one I think we're I think we're at Kings Lynn then yeah. so that'll be interesting. You highlighted that one already on your calendar. We, uh, we'll be ready for that one yeah. um, that'll be interesting their team don't look very good this year yeah. I put them for the wooden spoon. Oh, okay I'll make that make a note of that one as well. On yeah okay and uh, also as you mentioned as well Nearly all the team from last year, apart from your good friend Jason Doyle um, as well. And I think that's a good thing. And I know Alan Rossett is really keen to get that as well. And it's not as though you're a stranger either. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> it's picking me your nose. Um, yeah. Um, you, know, you, know, you know the track inside out here. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've, I've done a few laps. If I ain't no good now, I'm never going to be no yeah. good. I've, I've done that many laps. But, yeah, like you said, um, you know, good bunch of guys. They are the league champions. So, obviously... You know, you're not you're not keeping a team that hasn't done anything. They are they are winners. So uh, you know, hopefully I can fit in and uh, we can get another trophy. That would be great. Yeah, and you're going to be. I think you're going to start at number five. Nick Nick's going to be no, number one. Although uh, aspirations to be number one, I would have thought. Yeah, um, number one is a very tough number. Um, like we we always talk about that, and you know, heat one can from the outside gates. You turn up and it's raining or, or whatnot is. Heat one can be a, be a very tough one, so you got to be on your, your A game to be number one. So, obviously, if I if I do earn that number one spot, hopefully I'll be ready for that. And uh, you know, number one is the number that everyone wants to be. So, at the end of the day, we we all want it. There's there's about five of us that want it, so we'll see who can uh, yeah. get it and hold it. Your team manager, Alan Ross, has, has said uh, this week, uh, you're a wiser man. You're, you've got a wiser head on your shoulders these days. A bit more mature. Would you, would you agree with him? Well, I'd like to say the same about him, really. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It's all part of growing up, isn't it? I'm, yeah. I've hit the 30s now, unfortunately. Um, I don't like to say it. Normally, everyone, I still pretend I'm in the it's 20s. It's okay to be in the 30s because I'm still there myself, mate. <laughs> <laughs> If yeah, only, yeah, yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's all part of growing up. So uh, I need to uh, crack on really and, and make the most of it because, you know, I've I've had a good few years and I've learned a lot. But now I would say it's the time that yeah. you need to put all that experience into practice and uh, you know make the most of these these few years that you got left. And uh, you know, there could be GPs back on the cards eventually and stuff. But uh, my main goal for now is to build up and, and have a good season with all the leagues and. Uh, We'll worry about that next year. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that uh, GB qualifiers this year, and, and also the uh, this new uh, um, nations competition coming in instead of the World Cup, where you'll be up against GB as well. Um, so a lot, lot of other things to go for as well. Yeah, there's always um, you know a few uh, side side ones you can go for, like the World Cups and the GB qualifiers. I'm not doing them. You have to uh, you have to race in Australia and finish top three in the championship to to yeah. get that spot. So I didn't do that. I had a break. Um, yeah, there's, there's plenty to be excited about um, to get involved with if you're good enough and uh, I'd like to, to be as busy as I, as I can and uh, win as much as I can. Brilliant. And a lot been mentioned about uh, the humour and the banter that you bring to the pits. Uh, you, you're going to be your usual uh, entertaining self in the pits, helping out the other riders, I guess. Oh, I don't know about that. No one pays me to make, make jokes, but uh, no, nah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, you know, they are a good bunch of lads. They are... I, they kind of make me feel a little bit old, really. Um, 
but no, they're, they're, they're good. We have a good laugh, you know, Frenchie, and we call him Frenchie, which is David Bellego. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we're always kind of taking, taking the mick out of each other, and, uh, you know, it, it kind of feels loose. Like, it, it's not like the first day of school where no. you don't really know anyone or anything like that. It just, it just feels natural, so Brilliant. I think it'll be good. Well, it's great to see you back here, Troy, and I'm looking forward to a fantastic season from you. So am I, no pressure then, yeah? Yeah.